This is Ben Consoli for PremiumBeat.com. I am a director and editor, and I use Final Cut Pro 10 on all of my projects. Everyone knows that the Multicam in Final Cut Pro 10 is amazing. But there are many other ways that you can use Multicam in Final Cut 10. It's not just for concerts and live events. You can also use it for narrative work. Let me show you how. Uh, first things first, I did make two smart collections here. So anytime we make a multicam, it will appear here. And anytime we make a sync clip, it will appear there. And I strongly encourage all of you to learn how to use smart collections because they're very powerful. We have one scene here spread across nine takes. And there are three audio sources, a boom, a lav for Corey, and a lav for our girl. And then, of course, the camera itself has audio. The synchronized clip technique is widely used because it's really effective. You can very easily select all of the clips that you want to sync together, make a synchronized clip, and here it is. You can open it up in the timeline and see all of the clips together. And one really cool thing about synchronized clips is they work just like any other clips. So you can take a section of it, drag it into your project, you can add effects on it. You can adjust the volume. You can do whatever you want, just like any other clip. So this scene has nine takes. And if we had nine synchronized clips, that's not that many. But imagine having 20 scenes with 20 takes each. The amount of synchronized clips can become unmanageable very, very quickly. So what I use is multicams as a way to consolidate the number of takes into one clip. And it makes your workspace a lot cleaner. Let me show you how. The process of making a multicam clip is very similar to making a synchronized clip. Although I have noticed that when making multicams out of multiple audio files and a video file, it's a little less reliable than synchronized clips. So what I've been doing is just starting the multicam clip with the audio first. I'm just going to call it demo one. I keep everything automatic, especially for short clips, because it always sounds fine and I have no problems with it. Except for video properties, I always want to make sure that it will be making what I want, a 1920-1080, a 23-9-8. So it will sync all the clips together. Then you open up your synchronized clips, and here they are. Everything is synced perfectly. And all you need to do to bring the video in is add an angle. Call this video. I can even move it to the top. And here is our video scene. Now, with multicam clips, you have to select a monitored angle. And that's what this little icon is for right here. Because that is the angle from which all the videos in the multicam will refer to when you're syncing. So it's really important that you do that. Now, I select a boom mic as my monitored angle because it's the only microphone source that has all of the sounds in one. Corey is in lav and focuses just on Corey. Girl is a lav and just focuses on her. But the boom has it all, so that's why I use the boom for syncing purposes. So I select the clip, sync selection to monitored angle, and there you go, perfect. Now I want to start adding the other scenes. And we'll start with the boom first. I can drag it right in, but I could also Use the E on the keyboard, and it will append it to the end, which is just a faster way to get them all in there. I change the monitored angle to Corey, and I do the same. And you'll notice that the audio was running a lot longer than the video, so I have all this extra space. But it's not a problem. I just drag the video roughly to where it will end up. And then I select them all, change my monitored angle to the boom again, sync selection to monitored angle. And there you go. This is our clip. I change my active video angle to video so we can see it. And I always want to keep all my tracks on. I don't know why. I just like doing it that way. And the great thing is you can now mark in and out points, turn them into favorites, and easily go take by take by take. You can title the favorites. 
And what I do is when I have a favorite that I really like, I put a plus sign. So I know that that's one that I liked. So now instead of having hundreds and hundreds of clips, I only have one clip that's the entire scene. So all the takes in that scene are all now encased in this one multicam clip. And what's great about this is I can use it just like any other clip. Let's say I want this take. Drag it right in, and there you go. I can add effects to it. I can trim it. I can change the volume. I can even go right into the audio components by expanding audio components, and there are all my audio components that I can also trim and change the volume of and add effects to and isolate or uh, remove. So there's a lot of flexibility when you're using multicam clips in narrative work. More people use Final Cut Pro 10 today than have ever used Final Cut Pro 7. And that's because it's new, it's different, and it's better. And if you learn it the right way, I'm sure you'll agree. LarryJordan.biz and RippleTraining.com are the two ways that I highly recommend. Go there, learn how to use the program, and you will love it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time.